Well, the Rise News analyst Daya Shibwale joins us now to discuss yesterday's event in Oweri, which had elected and government officials as well as captains of industry from the southeast in attendance and what options they can exploit to effectively rally against insecurity and develop the economy of the geopolitical zone. Good afternoon, Mr. Shibwale. Good, Good afternoon. to have you back. It's a, it's a pleasure being here. It's a pleasure yes. to have you, of all course. Right. Now, you heard all that transpired yesterday, at least, at least excerpts. And one that stood out for me was when one of the gentlemen there mentioned that it's really about implementation. Right. So now that this is um, rounding up the summit, it's a two-day summit, okay. what would you like to see for all that was discussed to materialize? Okay. Um, I would have said, uh, should have waited till the end of the dialogue. Mm -hmm. But you see, I'm very proud of what I've seen. And I'm proud of the Igbos. But they have to be realistic. Somebody there said at the end of this, I think it was the, the former governor of the Central of Absoludo, governor of Anambra State, he said they would form a committee to know how to move forward. The issue is insecurity. And um, I will say it's self-made in the geopolitical zone. Because first of all, let me put it on the ground that I think the Igbos, uh, the South Easterners, they're formidable people. I don't believe any talk about repression. Nobody can repress such people. You see the people on display? Nobody. But let me take one or two people who spoke. Look at Iwayahu. I like Uwaya because of Uwaya Football Club. <laughs> you know, uh, see, he's saying that from his heart that they should release Kanu. But then I will hold him on to that. If they release Kanu, will the agitation stop? Do you get me? Because uh, you cannot have a state within a state. These people are yearning for development of their area. They are very successful mercantile race all over the world. You had uh, Ayim, he spoke. You are, had Konjo Iwiala. Konjo Iwiala is Director General of World Trade Organization, formerly of the World Bank. He was here and she did a bit. You see, and one thing I will caution the Igbos about is that we are in a multi-ethnic Nigeria. Those of us in the South, I'm Yoruba now, have suffered from the domination of the North more than any other group of people. But that, that has not made the North progress further than us because our own ammunition for development is that we are better educated, have moved ahead in terms of education than the North even though they had power for a longer period. So it's a situation we have, you can live with each other. You can live with each other, but you cannot have a state within a state. Somebody mentioned that the problem of the East is uh, transportation and logistics. You know, in the past, the Igbos, they are all over, they are our neighbors everywhere in the whole of Nigeria. There's nowhere you do not see the Igbo community actively trading and involved in, ma uh, 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 in uh, mercantile enterprises in any community and living there. But at the end, at Christmas, invariably they are Christians, they go home until this agitation started and people could not go home again. The roads are bad. So some people have said the Igbos are self exile all over the rest of Nigeria. But now that they have come to speak together, I think they can resolve the problem. It's a matter of political accommodation of the rest of Nigeria so that to have a better state in political participation in a united Nigeria. Mm. Very good, uh, Mr. Shubo Ali. But yeah. um, realistically, do you think this is just another talk shop or you're seeing signs of actual commitment? Because this is not the first summit of this nature we've had in the past. And um, uh, like you said, it's a vicious cycle of uh, you know, uncertainty. Uh, if uh, Namdi Kanu is released today, mm -hmm. non-state actors, will the agitation stop? And you're still in that quagmire of uh, you know, right. uncertainties, as it were. 
We have to be hard on them now. Asking for release of uh, uh, of Kano, it's like backing at the moon. Like backing at the moon. Let I've said it here before. Let Kano renege secession, and it will be accommodated. What is wrong with that? You see, I read somewhere that the, those people. You, you heard what I, I said. That the circumstances, the context that led to the civil war, the context is different now. Get me? The Igbos are thriving in Nigeria. A handful of people using the internet and social media to foment trouble are not based in Nigeria, mm -hmm. but the sit at home and the insecurity has made uh, industrialization impossible in the Southeast. That's what they are saying. These are people, look at them, they are robust, healthy, wealthy people. Huh? But their homeland, their homeland is a scene of insecurity. They are the best people to know how to solve that. Kanu is their son. They should know the language he understands. He cannot be fighting against the Nigerian state. I hope to get away with it. If other people, ethnic groups, ethnic nations, if one by one, there will be no Nigeria. So there must be political accommodation, like I said. There must be political, that is the political pragmatism that should be in the communique that will come out after the dialogue. Mr. Yeah. Chibwale, that what you mentioned about political accommodation is yeah. what I would like you to shed more light on. Because what was also mentioned by Alex Oti is the need to end the exploitation of the region by those in power, saying that the common man in the southeast often feels that justice is elusive. So that, that political, when you put that in, you know, have that in I'm mind as a premise, yeah. and you talk about the political accommodation, can you shed some more light on that? There are five states in the southeast mm -hmm. that are governed by indigenous. Uh, the states have budget for development and all that. How can the Nigerian government margin, be said to be marginalizing the southeast? And they do not, not have, they don't have uh, imposed governors. They are not uh, subcolonial uh, states to uh, the Abuja regime. They are in charge of their own government. And that's why they have come together. So I take that out of it, you know? It's, that is not in the spirit. Uh, the governor himself is responsible for a state. Mm. Do you get me now? Mm. Has the governor been able to contain the seat at home or the menace, the menace of the, the rebellion filtering from the internet, mm. from abroad, and come, come, making life unbearable for people on the ground, not to go to, home for Christmas, not to develop their own area, and fleeing to other places to go and work and live. It is, it is political combination should start at home. The society should begin at home. Yes. All right, so on that note, uh, Mr. Tayo Shubo, Ali, a Rise News Analyst, uh, many thanks for your perspective on the, the Southeast Summit and, of course, uh, a roadmap for development, as it were, of the region.